Cardiovascular disease is the number one killer today, and the modern diet has many hidden dangers. So today, we're going to talk about the 10 worst foods that destroy your heart, including some that have been traditionally promoted as healthy, but actually cause atherosclerosis, commonly referred to as clogged arteries. We'll discuss healthier alternatives that support your arteries and heart, while still allowing you to enjoy the meals you love, as well as one important ingredient to look for on food labels. Make sure you note this one down. Stick around until the end because we've got two free gifts that will help you fight heart disease naturally. And remember to click the thumbs up and subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest videos. First up, we have processed meats like salami, hot dogs, and bacon. Often paraded as the convenient heroes of quick lunches and family barbecues, they are trouble. The major problem is the preservatives and nitrates, which give them a long shelf life and enhance flavor, but also wreak havoc in our bodies. According to research by the University of Oxford, every 50 grams of processed meat per day accounts for an 18% increased risk of coronary heart disease. Similarly, people who eat more processed meat have been shown to have higher risk of colorectal cancer. But all is not bleak on the meat front. While all meat has historically been condemned, it's not that simple. Processed meats and grain-fed meat have been clearly shown to increase the risk of heart disease. That's because of the chemical additives we discussed, as well as the fact that what the animal eats directly impacts the quality of their meat. Grain-fed meat has longer chain fatty acids, which increase inflammation associated with heart disease. On the other hand, we have grass-fed, pasture-raised meat, which has shorter chain fatty acids, like the heart-healthy omega-3 fatty acids we're always hearing about, as well as high levels of vitamin E, vitamin A, and vitamin B12. In fact, a 2022 study found that grass-fed beef may exert protective effects against a number of diseases ranging from cancer to cardiovascular disease. It can be tricky understanding the truth about meat, especially after decades of being told that saturated fat is categorically bad. But like many things in life, it's all about quality. And while a grass-fed, pasture-raised piece of steak is going to provide a good boost of the vitamins, protein, and healthy fats that your body needs, it's best to stay away from processed meats. It's also important to consider what oils you're using to cook. We'll get to that in a moment, but first, let's discuss rice. Rice is often represented as a healthy carbohydrate, but as anyone with diabetes will tell you, Rice is very bad news for blood sugar. Rice is a starch, long chains of glucose molecules bonded together, which when we eat them, quickly break down into glucose, spiking blood sugar. This rapid rise in blood sugar prompts the pancreas to secrete insulin, the hormone responsible for ferrying sugar from the bloodstream into cells. Insulin is like a key, unlocking the cells in our muscles. When we eat carbohydrates, our body breaks them down into glucose. This glucose circulates in our bloodstream and needs to enter our muscle cells to provide them with energy. Without insulin, the glucose cannot get inside. It's like standing outside a locked door with all the energy we need just out of reach. Ideally, insulin should unlock these cells so that glucose can enter and be used for energy. However, when we consistently consume large amounts of carbohydrate-rich foods, our bloodstream gets flooded with glucose. As a response, our pancreas produces more and more insulin to try and move all that glucose. Over time, this can lead to our cells becoming less responsive to insulin, akin to a rusty lock that's harder to turn. This is known as insulin resistance. The more we force it, the more resistant it becomes eventually turning into type 2 diabetes. 
Excess blood sugar initiates a harmful process called glycation. When excess sugar molecules attach to proteins, ultimately damaging arteries. This artery damage lays the groundwork for heart disease, as arteries become damaged and less able to function properly. An additional concern with rice is that it absorbs high levels of toxic arsenic, also known as inorganic arsenic. This arsenic contamination occurs due to pesticides, fertilizers, industrial waste, and pollution, and contributes to high blood pressure, artery damage, kidney disease, various cancers, and brain damage. Brown rice is known as a healthier rice option, but unfortunately, arsenic levels are particularly high in brown rice. Washing rice will get rid of some of the arsenic. However, combined with the fact that it causes glycation and diabetes, it's best to limit rice. Moving on to another sneaky culprit, vegetable oils. We're talking about highly processed cooking oils that have flooded our kitchens. These include canola oil, corn oil, soybean oil, sunflower oil, safflower oil, cotton seed, sesame, grapeseed, and peanut oil. What's the concern? These highly refined polyunsaturated oils are unstable and oxidize easily, which causes inflammation and cell damage. They are refined by applying heat and chemicals, such as the petroleum-based solvent hexane, which changes the molecular structure of the oil. When we consume these oils, they damage cells, proteins, and DNA in our bodies, harming the endothelial cells that line the arteries, making them stiff and brittle, and increasing the risk of atherosclerosis. Now, a heart-healthy option is extra virgin olive oil for your salads or to drizzle on top of meals. That's because it's minimally processed. It's simply crushed and churned. Furthermore, the monounsaturated fat in olive oil is more stable and less likely to oxidize compared to the polyunsaturated fats found in vegetable oils. And studies show that rather than being inflammatory, olive oil is actually anti-inflammatory Likewise, coconut oil is lightly processed, resistant to oxidation, and has a high smoke point, making it an excellent option for cooking. Next, we'll turn our attention to protecting your liver. But first, Heart Disease Code would love to give you a free book, The Surprising Truth About Fat and Cholesterol, plus the first episode of the untold story of heart disease, something that everyone concerned about heart health should watch. Click the link in the description below to claim these free gifts. And could you do us a favor and click the subscribe button below? Okay, let's get back to the video. Your liver is crucial for preventing heart disease, which brings us to alcohol. The liver is responsible for metabolizing alcohol, but when inundated with high quantities, it struggles to process the toxin efficiently. This leads to fatty liver disease, and the accumulation of visceral fat, a dangerous kind of fat that surrounds internal organs, triggering inflammation, insulin resistance, and heart attack. Moreover, many alcoholic beverages, such as beer and wine, are loaded with sugars, exacerbating your risk. Spirits like whiskey, gin, tequila, and rum may be a better option because they typically contain less sugar. For example, Vodka mixed with freshly squeezed lemon and water is going to be a lower sugar option than beer. However, it's important to remember that it's not going to alleviate the burden on your liver. Next, we have processed grains, found in things like bread, pasta, and cereals. Since the 1960s, these have become a staple in many people's diet, largely due to government policy based on shaky science which brought us the traditional food pyramid. But just like rice, processed grains spike blood sugar and lead to glycation, ultimately damaging arteries. Processed grains are the worst, but it may be worth cutting out most grains. People with celiac disease have extreme reactions to many grains, 
But there is a growing body of evidence suggesting everybody should be wary of modern grains due to their impact on causing inflammation, leaky gut syndrome, and increasing hunger, leading to overeating and weight gain. If you love bread, you may like to watch our video on the best bread alternatives for a healthy heart. There you will find some excellent breads that deliver the same taste and texture without the damage. Next we have the worst fat that you should avoid at all cost, trans fat. Originating from a process known as hydrogenation, trans fats were birthed in the early 20th century as scientists sought to transform liquid vegetable oils into solid fats. One of the most common products was margarine. But trans fats also lurk in other foods you might not expect. This invention promised longer shelf life and flavor stability, making them attractive for food producers. Used in commercial products like cookies and cakes, chips, crackers, and microwave popcorn, trans fats pose a serious health threat. They alter blood platelets, making them stickier and less functional, damaging our mitochondria, the energy-producing powerhouses within our cells, thereby accelerating the risks of heart disease, stroke, and type 2 diabetes. Government regulations have been introduced in many countries, restricting the sale of trans fat products. However, food producers have come up with creative ways to get around this. Foods can often be labeled trans fat free if they contain less than 0.4999 grams of trans fat per serving. By shrinking serving sizes, manufacturers can technically round down to zero masking the presence of these hazardous fats. So, how do you avoid them? Always check the ingredients list for partially hydrogenated oils, the primary source of trans fats. Many processed foods contain trans fats, so if you're tempted by cookies, pizza, or pre-prepared meals, you're far better making your own. Processed foods combine the worst of everything we've discussed so far. Toxic oils, refined grains, toxic chemicals, preservatives, tons of sugar and salt, as well as artificial flavorings. All of this is designed to create the bliss point, a meticulously calculated balance that stimulates the brain's pleasure centers to the highest degree, triggering cravings and addiction to toxic foods. So don't blame yourself if you can't stop at one or two cookies they were designed that way. But it's more important to take note. Processed food intake has skyrocketed in recent decades. And while they may be convenient in the short term, processed foods are a disaster for health. At number two, we have deep fried foods, especially fast food. When foods are deep fried, especially in reused or low quality oil, they end up soaked with unhealthy fats. Plus, they tend to have extremely high levels of salt, causing blood pressure to rise and putting an increased load on the heart. Then there's the concern of AGEs, or Advanced Glycation End Products. The deep frying process, especially at the very high temperatures, leads to the production of these damaging compounds, which cause oxidative stress and inflammation within the body. If you love fries, why not oven bake them? For that crispy chicken fix, go for oven-baked cooking. Balance it out with a rainbow of veggies, greens, tomatoes, antioxidant-rich beetroot, red onion, and avocado. And our number one absolute worst food for your heart is sugar. Sugar is everywhere in the modern diet, from sodas to ketchup to bread. As we discussed, sugar elevates insulin causes glycation damage to arteries, and increases dangerous visceral fat. High fructose corn syrup is a modern alternative to sugar, but it has the same effect on the body, as do other alternatives like agave nectar and even honey. As for artificial sugars like aspartame or saccharin, unfortunately they have their own problems. A number of studies have shown that these negatively impact gut health, 
and a study published in the journal Diabetes Care, finding that people who drink diet soda on a healthy basis had a 36% increased risk for heart disease. Sugar is addictive. So even if you feel cravings, know that they do subside with time, and cutting out sugar is one of the best things you can do to not only reduce your risk of heart disease, but funnily enough, also increase your energy levels.